welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Xplain 12. In this video today I'm going to tell you how to update the ARAC cycle for the Flight Factor Airbus A320 Ultimate or how to get rid of the NAV data out of date error in the MCDU of the plane which is the multifunction control and display unit. ARAC cycle is actually the aeronautical information regulation and control cycle which has the information of all the airways and uh, plus the waypoints plus the airport which is required uh, to make a flight plan in the MCDU of the plane and to uh, follow that flight path. Um, as this database uh, consists of all this information, therefore it has to be updated. Uh, you can update the cycle once uh, with the latest one and then you can just wait for four or five months more um, or maybe you can have a regular update of the ARAC cycle using the Navigraph site. Totally depends upon your um, uh, pocket size. <laughs> I um, don't do it on regular basis uh, because I'm not really regular with the flight simulators. At times I'm, I'm away from the simulator for two to three months so I hold my subscription. I don't have a yearly one, I have a monthly one. Uh, so it totally uh, depends upon your need. Uh, so in order to update the ARI cycle for the Flight Factor Airbus A320, uh, you should have a subscription of the Navigraph. Uh, this, the link to this site is given in the description. You can just follow this link and you can make your account and plus then you can subscribe to any of the plans. There are three subscription plans available on the site, NAV data yearly, ultimate monthly and ultimate yearly. In the NAV data yearly, you have to pay 25.90 euros and uh, you'll get uh, the ARAC cycle updated uh, for the Flight Fact Airbus A320 during the subscription uh, year. Uh, so every month when the ARAC cycle is updated, um, uh, or it's it's available, you can update it uh, for the x 12 for your Flight Factor Airbus A320. I have uh, the Ultimate Monthly subscription, which also comes with the Jeppesen Airport charts, interactive and route charts, moving maps, uh, route calculation, charts, API integration with EFB integration. Uh, so PMDG, if you have the PMDG Boeing 737 or other planes, you can integrate it with the, um, uh, with the electronic flight bag, which is there in the plane. And plus, if you want to have a yearly subscription, you can have the subs subscription. Once subscribed to Navigraph, uh, you can go to your account over here and uh, then you can go over here to Nav Data and uh, you will see three options, Nav, uh, Nav Data Center for Windows, FMS Data Manager for Windows and FMS Data Manager for Mac OS. So you can download and install FMS Data Manager uh, either for Windows or for Mac depending upon the operating system you're using. And once uh, downloaded, you can install it in your CD drive, wherever you want. And then you can run the instance of the FMS Data Manager installed on your system. And from there, you can update the cycle for the um, Flight Factor Airbus A320. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you have to go to the install directory of x 12. Uh, in my case, I have installed it on my D drive. And you will see x 12. And plus, there is a folder in x 12, which is known as Custom Data. This folder will already be there. Over here, you have to create a, date, uh, a folder CIFP. So simply create this folder. Now come to the FMS uh, data manager and over here, um, as I'm already logged in, you can see it. But if you're running it for the first time, you have to log in with your email address and your password, which are you using for the Navigraph site. So once uh, this is updated, uh, all you have to do is this, you have to go to add on mappings and uh, you have to click this option add. And from this drop down menu, select the flight factor A bus A320. I think I've missed it. Here you go. So Flight Factor Airbus A320 Ultimate and install into user defined folder. Select the user defined folder, which will be CAFB. So you can see I've selected this folder. Simply click save and go to the add-on list and you can see um, this is coming as a user because it's a user-defined uh, instance. Uh, you can also see x 11 and x 12. This was automatically picked up by the FMS data manager for my x 12 instance and for my x 11 instance. Uh, so now um, this is added and uh, simply click this, uh, this option and uh, the ARAC cycle will be downloaded. Currently it is available for September to October and the year is 22. So while it's getting downloaded and installed, as I've already um, updated it, let me show you in x 12. So here I am in the cockpit of the Flight Factor Airbus A320, 
and uh, let's go to the MCDU and uh, let's see what is the Iraq cycle and you can see it's updated uh, it's uh, 2209 which is uh, September 2022 and 8th September to 6th October it's updated uh, so this is how you update the ARAC cycle for the flight factor A bus A320 right now. The IRS alignment is going on. That's why there is nothing on the PFD and the ND. Uh, that's it. I'm just about to finish my video. If you've got any questions, uh, do type your questions in the comment section. I will be more than happy to answer uh, your questions. And if there is a delay, kindly excuse me for that because I have a busy schedule. At times, I don't get time to answer uh, to all of your questions. And if you've got any comments, you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon. Have a nice day.